Get us to as 100. I said that two more like once get you get us, us to a hundred, one hundred. If you get us to a hundred, <laughs> I will quit my job. Now. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the. It's We're your back. boy. I'm back. We're back. We got a, finally a new video after a, I guess... Eh, it's about a week. Yeah, a week and a half since the last video. I haven't yeah. been in a video in a long ass time. I think it's been like a month. Uh, basically, life caught up with me. Also, I rolled my ankle like a bitch. <laughs> I got crossed over, dog. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it took me a while to recover. I'm actually still recovering. But uh, yeah, whatever. Let's gonna jump right in. We got a new news blitz for you guys. Fortunately, not much news has dropped since, no. I think, last week. Yeah. But uh, let's go well, ahead. So the last and, time yeah. we dropped one, which was, which was like last ago. week, right, yeah. or two weeks ago? Two weeks ago, yeah. So we'll just go ahead and jump right in with what we got. So first topic: Andy Serkis has been confirmed Venom Two director. Yes. How do you feel about that, man? I mean, I mean, I, I've, I've, well, we talked about a little, a little bit about this on the, on the last news blitz, but we didn't really touch into it. And uh, he does have several movies out there, which involve a lot of CGI and the CGI. Yeah, he's like a he's, really good. He's a mocap king, dude. Yeah, he did the uh, Caesar, most famous for Caesar for Planet of the Apes. Mm -hmm. He's also famous for Smeagol from the Lord of the Rings series. Yeah, so he's he's really good at like motion capture. So I think that's key for Venom because Venom had a lot of motion capture which Tom Hardy did himself yes so uh, I think it's gonna be good to have a guy who's got experience with CGI because to be honest I think that was one of the low points in the Venom movie for me was just the CGI it was just all over the place yeah it felt a little it felt a little short yeah I mean when it's just yeah. Venom by himself it's it's nice it's it's good it looks good it's, it's a little refined it just needs a little bit of touch-ups but when the action sequences when Venom is moving and he's fighting and there's a lot of movement it's just all over the place, man. So I think Andy Serkis is going to be really good and really key into like cleaning those scenes up. And he's yeah. going to make really good set pieces. Because the set pieces in Planet of the Apes, those action sequences are freaking beautiful. They're immaculate, man. I mean, the movie by itself yeah, is so like, it's it's a just, great movie. It's really, and he's really good at getting emotion yeah. in the face. And I think that's something that he's going to bring to Venom as well. Where you're probably going to see a lot of more inflections on the eyes. And, and less Lion know, King. Yeah, you know, <laughs> less Lion King. No eyebrows. Fuck yeah. eyebrows. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so I'm excited. I'm He's excited all, too. Also, it's been confirmed that uh, Michelle Williams will be coming back, and I yes. think they're kind of hinting at She Venom will be coming back. Yeah. So uh, I, I, I'm excited, man. I uh, mean, e even with the with the fact that uh, Woody Harrelson is coming, you know, yeah, Carnage, it's Carnage, so. and you know, Andy Serkis posted like a picture on Instagram. Yeah. He's reading the comics, so obviously it's gonna be heavily influenced. It's gonna be dope. So I really hope they end up doing the Maximum Carnage storyline. Uh, it would make sense because you know that way you can actually have Spider Man come into the movie where they team up. And then maybe end it where they go their separate ways. Yeah, because ways. there's been rumors that Spider-Man yeah. might show up so in the movie. So Sony's gonna get Spider-Man. Whether it's Tom Holland Spider-Man, we don't else. know. It might even be Andrew Garfield. There's yeah. been talks that Andrew Garfield can still come back. That that's still up in the air. So not we'll only see. that, I mean, Andrew Serkis is part of the Marvel Universe already. Yeah, so, so it's gonna be, I mean, it's gonna be, it's gonna be good. We'll, we'll see what happens. Yeah. News Next glitch. topic: Aladdin sequel is being explored by Disney because it made a billion dollars. Yeah. Are you kidding me, dude? Never in my no. life did I think. <laughs> A movie where fucking Will Smith is blue yeah. <laughs> would make a billion dollars. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it did. I mean, I don't know. It's it's something new because it'd be a new story. Yeah. And it could be really, really good in the fact that they're, they're trying to evolve these characters to something else and not just a remake of, of the uh, original. So exploring their capability of acting and you know how it comes together for a different story it could be good i don't think but Disney's i don't know how well it's gonna be <laughs> i don't know how well it's gonna sit with you know long time disney uh, yeah stuff. i don't think it's gonna be received well i see this as strictly a cash grab disney sees this as an opportunity to like hey people enjoyed this movie let's just make another one for the hell of it yeah, just plus they're already missed actors yeah to make a quick buck i mean yeah. hopefully that's not the case i mean if you can come up with a decent story then i mean so do it yeah it wasn't terrible Honestly, I liked Aladdin more than The Lion King, and that's not saying much, but uh, it was entertaining. I mean, Lion King was just uh, literally regurgitated remake, whereas Aladdin, uh, you know, Guy, R Guy Ritchie added like his own little t spin twist, on it, yeah. twist, and there was a little bit of extra story elements for Jasmine and stuff. So, it, it's it's I can see why they would want to make a sequel. So, yeah, we'll see where that goes, man. It's, yeah. it's they're just I exploring. Mean, Nothing's confirmed yet. To us, it's just like whatever. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> News next blitz. topic. Kevin Conroy as Batman in the yeah. Crisis spinoff on the CW. I think it's about time. The CW, right? Yeah, CW, yes. Uh, 
First of all, yeah, about damn time, yeah, dude. About How damn many time. video games and animated series has this dude? This guy is Batman. Hell yeah. Unfortunately, he's old as fuck, but he can play old Bruce Wayne. Who gives a shit? Dude? That's what he's playing. Yeah, right. An so Bruce, an old Bruce Wayne. Just put him in a suit on a badass like leather chair, and that's it, dog. That's all you need. And then, and then deliver the epic line. Yeah. Will we get uh, what's his name from Batman Beyond? Do you guys? Oh, I, have, think I so? don't know. I don't know. It seems. I feel like I they'd be. So. I feel like they'd be the perfect pairing though with Kevin Conroy's Batman. Well, it'd be really cool that they show it, but I feel like Kevin Conroy's going to be more like a. An alternate, you know, crisis cameo type of yeah. style where he, you know, I guess even I, if they just like, to, if yeah. it's like a quick meet, like they go to the mansion, Kevin Conroy sitting in a seat, and yeah. you see just a young dude in the back with like a leather jacket, like, be come dope. on with a bike. Yeah, they don't reference who it is. You just see some dude show yeah. with the bike. But you know who it is. That would be fucking yeah. sick, man. That so, would be badass. Oh, uh, anyway, like Kevin Conroy, that voice, man, he's Batman. Like it's, as fuck. it's gonna be sick. I'm, I'm excited to see. I'm that. excited as hell too. News next bits. topic. The Boys Season yes. 2 has been confirmed. If you have not seen Season 1, definitely check that out. It is such a badass show. It's hilarious. It's it's gory. It's everything. It's kind of just... It's what you want, man, with superheroes. It's it's a spin that you haven't seen before. I think it's like... It's what they kind of tried to do with Watchmen, but just... It doesn't take itself as seriously, right? So I... I, I more hardcore, would you say it was more yeah, hardcore? Yeah, definitely, it. it's definitely more hardcore. Yeah, I haven't seen it, so I, I'm, yeah. still, I'm still in the process of trying to um, watch it. So. We might do a review of season one. Um, I think it's been out for about like a month, almost a month and a half now. So we'll definitely you know, keep a lookout for our review. We'll do a full review for the first season. Uh, News Next Blitz. topic, and I'm going to butcher this guy's name. Digimon. Digital <laughs> Monsters. Digimon. Digital Monsters. Digimon. Digital Monsters. Digimon. Digital Monsters. Hansu. Uh, has been uh, cast in A Quiet Place 2. Yeah. He's replacing Brian Tyree Henry. Uh, the reason is scheduling conflicts, which you can't blame the guy. The guy got cast in The Eternals. So, uh, The Eternals or A Quiet Place 2. Yeah, I take yeah, The Eternals. I take The Eternals, too. <laughs> Paper. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. So, I mean, anyways, Digimon Hansu, who's already in the Marvel Universe as well. He plays uh, Korag, the pursuer, the pursuer, I think, or something like mm -hmm. that. He's in Guardians and stuff. But, uh, yeah, he's a good actor, and I think it's interesting. I'm actually in interested to see where they take the story and see what else they do. Maybe we'll get more background on the monsters or something. Yeah, uh, I mean, the first one was really well written, so... Yeah. I don't doubt that the second one's going to be, you know, written poorly. Well written, because they didn't yeah. say shit the entire movie. <laughs> <laughs> the scenes were well written, yeah, right? The, like, the scenery was really good. It was really quiet. But uh, yeah, I'm excited to see where they go with yeah. this sequel, man. I'm John, excited too. John Krasinski, man, like he's he's a for a guy that came from the office to direct a movie like that, it's yeah, pretty it's trippy. Pretty cool. So that's cool. Uh, all right, our news blitz. next and final topic for this week's news blitz is a whopper. Uh, I think this is literally Disney just sticking out its huge cock and smacking <laughs> Netflix all over the fucking face. <laughs> And any other streaming service. And other, like, it's like, oh, CBS All Access. <laughs> what else, dude? Fucking HBO. Like, yeah, HBO. Bah, bah. Uh, basically, Disney announced a bundle that you can get with Disney Plus. So it's yes. Disney Plus, Hulu. They didn't specify if it's Hulu Plus or just the regular Hulu package. And ESPN Plus for $12.99 for all three. Just to give you guys perspective on how insane this is. I paid $12.99 for Hulu. Yeah. Just Hulu. And that's without ads. Yeah, and that's the one without ads. Shit, I paid fourteen dollars for Netflix. Right, so like, yes. yeah, I paid fourteen dollars for Netflix. So like, fuck, man, that yeah. is a baller move. That is that's big dick yeah. energy, dude. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong, the price is definitely gonna go up. This is a promo price. I promise you, this is just a promo price. Maybe after, I want to say six months, that shit's gonna skyrocket to where Disney Plus is probably gonna end up just being like, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go on a limb here, ten bucks. Yeah. Okay. And then that bundle is definitely going to be like twenty something dollars. It's not going to be no twelve ninety nine. So if this is a promo price, so I suggest you Grab. hop on that shit now so that you get grandfathered in. Yeah. Okay, because I think that's what they're trying to do. They want to get these subscribers early on, and they grandfather you in so you keep that promo price. Yeah. So yeah, definitely get in as soon as it goes available. Don't wait. Yeah, it starts wait. November. They're thinking late November, so definitely expect it during the holidays, like Thanksgiving week, which would be the perfect time to launch it. So, because uh, obviously oh, everybody's yeah. on vacation, they're gonna want kids watching all this shit. So not only that, but they're getting, you know they got Fox in there and a yeah. lot, of, a lot of Fox uh, uh, movies and, and yeah, stuff and is gonna be into the. A into crazy that. thing too is that Disney. Everybody thinks it's just gonna be some streaming service where they have all old Disney movies. No. That's not the case. They're actually gonna release a lot of movies through Disney Plus that they don't see that 
basically that they don't feel like deserves to be released in the theaters right it's not saying that they don't think the movie's good it's just they don't think it'll make as much like it'll make a difference if i release it to the home like on streaming service or the theater yeah obviously so. the reason you release a movie to theater is because one large crowds of people want to see it and two is premium format yeah if they cannot even offer the movie in premium format then That's i guarantee you it's just going to go straight to disney plus yeah and I, it's it's a smart move. Yeah, you, yeah, you can't deny. It. You know, people go. You go on Netflix and you just click, click, click. Oh, that looks interesting. Boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You look at it and then you end up blanking it. I mean, that's how. But it's 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 perfect. I mean, Disney Plus is gonna be a mainstream. Yeah, that, yeah, definitely. You know, it's gonna be something that's gonna take over. It's already whooping Netflix ass. Netflix is no longer the you know the number one streaming service out there. So for it to come in and then out of nowhere, like you say, drop the cock. Boom! Right there with ESPN Plus. I mean, it's, huge. It's crazy because meaty he, yeah. Disney cock, dude. Yeah, God. It's gonna be. It's gonna be crazy. So yeah, jump on it right away. <laughs> Endgame's not showing up on Netflix. It's no. Like, uh-uh. It's gonna go straight to the straight into the. Yeah, Disney it's app. going to the Disney app. Though, the um, Marvel movies that are on Netflix now will stay there. I think the last one that's gonna be there. It's Infinity War. Isn't it's it? Infinity War, right? Yeah. yeah. So I think Captain Marvel is going straight to Disney Plus. Yeah. So. I mean, they're, the movies that are there already, like, it's part of the contract. It's going to stay there. And I think they keep those movies for, like, five years uh, after the fact. So, yeah, it's they just won't be getting any new content. But uh, Plus, I'm pretty sure those movies that are Netflix are going to end up being on yeah, Disney+. Yeah, everything Plus on there is just going to be on Disney+. Plus. So, definitely, like we said, guys, we recommend, highly recommend, keep an eye out. As soon as this thing comes available, hop on it. Hop on it so you get that deal so that you're grandfathered in, all right? Because if you don't... Trust me. You're going to be out of luck. You're going to get smacked in the face with that meaty cock, too. Plus, like we <laughs> said, we don't even know, <laughs> don't even know if, this, if this is going to be, you know, with no ads. Hulu with no ads, if you watch Hulu. Yeah, ads, so. ESPN Plus is a pretty good thing to have on there, yeah. too, man. Although, there, you still have, like, the, the blackout problem that pretty you have much. where it's, like, not local games or some shit. Yeah. But uh, regardless, I mean, that's a hell of a deal, man. Yeah. So why wouldn't you get that? Like, just get it, dog. You already got everything. You got Amazon. You got Netflix. Just get it. Just get it. Let's get it. Yes. All right. That's the end of the news blitz for this week, guys. Be sure to follow, like, share, and subscribe. As always, check our Instagram. Uh, be on the lookout for new videos. We're going to be working on a couple of videos actually today, right now. And uh, we'll be sure to upload. We're sorry for the hiatus. We know yes. you guys missed us. We see you 96 subscribers, dog. 98, 98 dog. Get us to As 100. I said that, two more. Like, when you get, get us, us to 100, to 100. Dude, <laughs> If you get us to 100... I will quit my job now. <laughs> JK, JK. But anyways, we'll see you guys next time. Later. Later. Later.